am on site of a very historic tree here in Mobile. Behind me, this is the Boyington Oak Tree. And it's said to have grown about the 1830s for a very spooky reason. I've heard from some people, might be a ghost living inside. Take a look. Charles Boyington was a 19 year old printer who came to Mobile in 1833 in November. And he had kind of a record and then he took care of Nathaniel Frost who had a consumption which is TB. In 1834, Nathaniel Frost was found dead in what is now the Church Street Graveyard just off Bayou Street in downtown Mobile. Charles was a gambler, so he was planning to leave Mobile, but then he left the same day the murder was committed. Charles was charged with the murder of Frost in May of 1834. Boyington was held at the Condé Charlotte Jail until February 20th of 1835 when he was hanged outside of the Oakley House. Boyington in procession from the jail, Condi, Charlotte House, all the way down government. People were on the streets picnicking. It was an event. They called it a procession, and they brought children. But it is what happened after his death that has created a story to span generations. He said that this oak tree would grow on his grave site from his heart to prove his innocence. And although there are many, many acorns down here, this tree group from the cemetery records it said it's his coffin and uh, it, it is quite likely that it is his heart in there. Being a skeptic myself, I got a hold of City of Mobile's urban forester and tree expert Peter Toller to see if that could even happen. This tree right here, if I was to take a wild guess, would be between 150 and 200 years old. That's a very rough estimate. Toller told me that this massive live oak stands at 60 feet tall with its branches 110 feet wide and roots that stretch just 18 inches below the surface. I'll put it to you this way. It's been going on for so long and knowing that tree roots are not that deep under the ground, I would say there's a spooky possibility he might be right underneath the collar of this tree. In Mary's new book, The Boyington Oak, A Grave Injustice, she writes that two people have confessed to the crime on their deathbeds. He protested constantly that he was innocent. He kept saying, sooner or later, sooner or later, I'll be vindicated. Well, it's later, so maybe now we can vindicate him with a posthumous pardon. So what about Boyington's ghost? Some people say they have heard him. Other people say they've seen him. I had actually felt that I saw him his ghost in the house once, so I, I guess I would say maybe I have leaned towards believing that there's a possibility, and people hear what they want to hear, don't they? Now, whether or not you believe in paranormal activity, this is a pretty scary story. We have the science, we have the facts. I'll let you be the deciding factor. You can see more on WKRG.com. For now, I'm Kimber Collins.